Peace, family. Peace, family. Woo, I'm telling you. <sighs> Woo. <laughs> the energy is so high right now. The energy is so high right now. And there, the information, there's, I'm telling you, certain information uh, beings just don't want out. But we are not going to let that stop us. So I'm not sure where I left out at because... Everything is just coming through right now. But I, w I know I was speaking about um, us ladies just coming together and stop loving each other and stop bashing each other. We need to stop bashing each other because we have to come together to unite. We have to really start loving our bodies, really start loving our bodies, women and men. We need to really start loving our bodies because um, we just... We've been shaming ourselves for too long. We really have. And so it's time for everybody to start, you know, stepping into their power and not worry about what society or what anybody else tells you to do. Like, continue to do you however it manifests. Let it manifest. Seriously. This game called life is not that serious. It really is all what you really make out of it. Like, you're, oh my gosh. Like, literally, this life is what you make it. It comes from your manifestation, the power of your word. Who cares really how or what you want to do as long as it's in harmony and love and it's coming from the heart, it's innocent and it's pure, like childlike. Do it, you know, do it. But ladies, we have to really start bashing ourselves and we have to stop letting other people bash us. We really need to embrace all of this divine energy that's coming in right now because it's going to heal. We need to really start tapping into our hips. We need to start tapping into that sexual energy, that chi, that energy alone that energy just alone can heal this planet. And so I'm not going to really get too um, deep into the whole aspect of, you know, sex magic and all of that. If you want to know more about that, just hit tag. Um, tag in this video and I'll do another video. But um, I didn't lost track. So much energy didn't came in. Um, I feel like kind of just touched bases on um, everything, you know. Us as women, we really, you know, we, we have to come together. We we really, and it starts with really loving our body, like, you know, pleasing yourself. The goddess has standards. You should really please yourself. If something is not bringing you pleasure, if you're not feeling orgasmic about it, you know, release it. You know, really release release it. Really get into the bottom in the, in the root of your womb and, um, it, you know, and loving it. Like, um, some of us women out here is just so, so dick hungry that we just allow, you know, different beings in our womb and we shouldn't do that. We should really take it serious who we let in our womb and not let our hormones, you know, uh, overpower us. Um, and just really know how sacred that, that energy is when you, when you open, when you open it up and you should definitely just. You know, open it up to the right person and just start loving yourself and pleasing yourself. Like if you're not, if you're in a relationship and you're not being fulfilled, then you need to communicate with your partner or you need to also learn to fulfill yourself. Like it's, it's, it's nobody's job to um, please you in any type of way. So it's really up to you to please yourself. So, um. We just got to love ourselves more better. We got to be calm. I mean, we got to be, um, we just got to be caring and, and just loving to ourselves because we really just bash ourselves, you know, just so much, so much stress. I got to be vegan. I got to fast. I got to do this. I got to do that. I'm not saying none of that, none of that stuff is bad or good. Like, you know, I do fast sometimes and stuff too. But all I'm saying is, like, don't take it so serious when you're beating yourself up. Don't beat yourself up about this game. It's, I mean, it's whatever character you want to play. 
If you want to play the hardcore beekeeper that loves bees and you want to be an activist for bees and you just stand up for the bees, do it. If you want to be in this reality and you want to be a yogi and you want to, you know, do yoga every day and you feel it's your job to, you know, share yoga with the world, do it. Like, don't let the, don't let somebody tell you what you can't do. Don't let somebody tell you because if you... If you feel in your heart that your menstrual cycle has you toxin and you unclean and you unpure and it's not natural, think it. That's up to you. That's your reality. But in my reality, that's not how it rocks. It don't rock like that in my reality. And we are all entitled to live in whatever reality we want to and think and believe whatever we want to. This is not a debate. I'm just sharing my experience and sharing how it is on my planet, <laughs> on my reality, or what the women do on in, in the vibe that I'm in, you know what I mean? Knowing how divine this sacred, you know, vessel is, and just knowing what time it is, feel what time it is. It is the time for the divine rising of this energy, so... So much is coming through right now. I guess I, I feel that I got my point out. I would like to address just one more thing. I am embarking more and more on the path of being aware of this primal energy all around us and really tapping into my divine feminine energy and not giving a fuck about how I do it. And it's going to be slutty. It's going to be classy. It's going to be everything because I'm all and I'm everything and I'm nothing at the same time. So if you want to join me and dig deeper into that, I have a lot of uh, other sisters who are already Tamika. I get Tamika. I can go ahead and say you are inspiring. It's another dope sister who has tapped inside of her sacred nature, and she knows about that power. So um, I'm wanting to just get sacred women together, and 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 to be honest, I'm really speaking about the women that are ready. Like, this is, this is not a time to be shy or to be scared. It's time to unleash the dragon. So if you really feel like you're ready for that and you're really feeling to do the work, because a lot of times when we have all these different groups, people just say, tag, 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 let me in, let me in, just because they want to be there. Just because, but they don't, they're not ready to do the work. So I'm really speaking to the women that are really ready to, because in order to do the work, you have to work. You have to participate. You have to express. You have to release. This is a community effort, ladies. So if you think you, you're ready to really be around other women that are ready to do the work, because I know I'm ready to be around other women that's ready to do the work. I can't just always, you know, be on here and speaking like, I'm ready to surround myself with other beings that are ready to do the work. I am ready to surround myself with other beings that are willing to do the work. I am ready to surround myself around other beings that are willing to do the work. And so it is, and so it shall, and so it is gonna be. So if you feel like you are ready to unleash that dragon if you feel like you're ready to tap into that shakti that kali that kundalini energy then ladies hit tag and let me know it was a pleasure in sharing this space with all of you i hope my message has touched the ones that it was supposed to touch and if it didn't it's okay I'm still dope and you are still dope too love you guys